the channel. Glad to have you here. In today's video, we're going to turn talk about when to turn off keywords with high clicks and low sales in regards to your Amazon KDP campaigns, advertising campaigns. We're also going to talk about the magic formula that you need to know to help you determine when to turn off your keywords and to maintain optimal success for on Amazon KDP campaigns. Now, one of the biggest challenges faced by self-publishers on Amazon KDP is knowing when to turn off the keywords that are generating a lot of clicks, but they're not translating into sales. And the common issue here is knowing when is the right time to turn off these keywords and to save you the money spent that's not generating into sales and into cust returning customers. Many publishers struggle to find the right balance between maximizing exposure and maintaining profitability. So what is the magic formula that you need to understand? Well, the key here lies in understanding your conversion rate and knowing when to adjust your bids accordingly. Amazon's average conversion rate is around 10% with anything above considered highly relevant and potentially profitable as well. So this really helps to understand it if we break it down. For example, imagine that you have two keywords in the same campaign, keyword number one and keyword number two. Keyword number one is generating, for example, let's say uh, 40 clicks, but only one sale, resulting in a conversion rate of about 4%. Meanwhile, keyword number two is generating around 50 clicks with five sales, which generates us a healthy 10% conversion rate. So here is the kicker. Now, if your cost per click is $1 and you are spending for example, $40 on, on keyword number one and $50 on keyword number two, despite the low conversion rate for keyword number one, it's essential not to pause the keyword immediately. Why is that? Because success on Amazon isn't just about the here and now, it's about the long-term potential. Your book may evolve, your book may gain more reviews and improve its overall appeal. So instead of hitting the panic button, consider gradually lowering the, bill, the bid for underperforming keywords and also monitoring their performance over a few days. So lower the bid gradually for the keywords that are underperforming and monitor the performance over a couple of days. By tweaking your bids and closely monitoring the results, what happens here is you are optimizing your campaigns for maximum effectiveness while also minimizing wasted ad spent. And remember, as always, patience is the key. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Let me know what kind of videos you're interested in seeing next and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day.